Hello everyone and welcome back to Cataclysm of Darkness ahead yesterday year's rerun. Now, in the last episode, we forgot where we put our modular defense system, but I watched the footage and, I mean more like sped through it, and figured out it was right up here near the Exodi in the cabin. At night, we were sleeping and we left it there and we went. So I just went there and got it back, then drove back home. But you might be asking why I drove back home since, as you can see, the lab is 192 tiles, over map tiles away from us, the closest one. But there is a reason for that, and I'll tell you. First, because we currently have kerosene in our oil tank, and it's only 40 units. It's not gonna last as long. But we do have gallon-sized zipper bags full of motor oil, which we can use in our bionics. So I'm just going to pick up that motor oil and we have it now. We also have this modular defense system that we are going to put on. And when we do, also the Torn Army Helmet. That has an encumbrance of 45, but if you go and check the body stats on the head, you'll see that it is not protecting anything besides the ear, the forehead, the crown, etc. Everything else is just completely unprotected. And it still has a huge amount of encumbrance. But why do we take it? Why do we have it if it, that is the case? Well, it's because it is the only thing that fits these panoramic night vision goggles. And currently, we don't have anything that can give us night vision in the way of bionics. So, I came back here and I first picked up an extra pair of eyeglasses in case that's one, that one broke. And I also picked up our Kabuto, which we sorted here so that we can quickly take off the army helmet and wear the kabuto in case we need to get in close range combat now why the kabuto it still has a high amount of encumbrance and it will lower our reaction score making dodging and blocking a lot harder but on the other hand if you go and check the body stats you'll see that chest chin crown forehead basically everywhere except the eyes is covered with the kabuto and we have an insane amount of protection the coverage 100 percent in most places but they, the throat has a five percent chance of being bad not gonna happen at all it is pretty good that one's pretty good but night vision is also great there is also another reason we came here and let me find this so i can take off the kabuto because it looks ridiculous. The other reason that we came here is for yes, that the settling torch. Because we figured out that arc welders cannot and will not burn through anything. It has to be settling. So let me just quickly switch my units to kilometers an hour instead of miles per hour no freedom units and we are going to go there in fact what missions do we have reference material about air rifles but that has pneumatic in the name maybe we could actually get air rifles from jenny secure trade route suddenly disappeared oh oh yeah that's easy that's easy honestly but we're not going to do that we're not going to take the time to do that. Also, these two tadpoles are in grave danger right here. I'm always scared that one day something will terrible will happen and they'll be in danger. But that day hasn't come yet. So we're just going to be careful about it. We're thirsty. Do we have any water with us? Nope, we do not. We do not have any water. Eat that one. All right, let's get that oxyacetylene torch with two tanks, probably, just so we don't have to worry about it for a while. And then we set off from here. Although I think I'm going to stay the night. Talk to smokes. Not yet. Let's trade. So 
What do you have right here? You do have slugs, I think. Shotgun slug. Yeah. We don't have a shotgun with us, but this slug will be very useful. So we're just gonna take the lot. What else? Want a settling torch, please? And we have these bugs trading basics, not that we'd care. Oh wow, that is expensive. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that is expensive. It is a welding tank. It is going to last us a while, so I think it's it's worth it. So let's just pay the merge. Pay the merge. And we will be out of your hair with this welding tank. Alright, looks good to me. So I'm going to reload that acetylene torch. How it take up? It takes up 19 liters of space, which is a lot, but we can in fact destroy metal walls. Let's try it on here to see if the construction lights up. Remove metal wall. Where is it? Metal door. We have a set, we have glare protection, but we need something with prying as well. Can we just like cut into it? I wonder. Let's. Oh! Okay, well, I didn't think it had already used it, but it did. And we cut through it. Hello, smokes. <laughs> Hello, smokes. How are you doing? Alright, do we have any marijuana with us? Yeah, we do have 20 marijuana. I say this because there is a certain person right here who would pay for marijuana. It is Draco Dune. Nice to meet you, Draco. How you doing? Look at you. I don't take offense. You're well. This is the person that we, we could give us. Nobody around here. Yes, I would, you monster. Okay. Well, I'll come back when I find a guitar. I actually think we have it in the back. Me mistaken. It's been a while since I've been on this world. But we do have things, and we can cut through my tool now. Let's see if we have a guitar. Okay, at least. Guitar. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Well, cut the arc welder, not the welder. Torch. Yep. I'm gonna put the torch here. What else did we? A lot of slugs, so you're gonna take this and go back to where we were. Stay the night, yeah. Come on, start her up. We're just gonna stay the night back home. And after we're ready to set off, then we'll do it. Now, I... Th oh, Jesus. It's foggy out here. I... It'd be a great addition if someone could add, like, a thing that slowly transitioned between... Oh my god, don't... Don't smash it. I didn't want to smash it. Just wanted to get off. Like, a transition between the weather, because it's fog, it's cloudy... Oh wait, there is a transition already, but it still kind of feels jarring how that happens. Let's pick up our shotgun. Not that one. Benelli. The Benelli doesn't fit in any... We have a recoil side. Okay, let's just fill you up with slugs. Alright. We're going to put the Benelli back here in the car since we can't bring it with us. And hopefully eat some stuff, drink some stuff. Wow, we have a lot of things. We have a lot of things right here. We've got too many stuff. The water, drink that and... Okay, how are our vitamins looking? Terrible, we have no vitamins. Let's eat the gummy vitamins and another multivitamin, another multivitamin, because we have too much of it. Now we're gonna quickly do some exercise, see how much we can burn. 
and also probably get us tired. You're feeling good, lifestyle is great, and converse. No shoes? No shot, I don't have any shoes, right? Oh my god, did I forget to put on any shoes? That's actually funny. Uh, do you have shoes? Shoes, shoes, shoes. Nope! It doesn't seem to be anything. Where is the rest? Oh, the boots. I forgot to sort this stuff, I think. Stone grey pines. First watch, we don't need it. But I'm surprised that we didn't take the boots. Yeah, we don't need anything else from this. Do we have cargo pants? Yeah, we have ripped cargo pants, but we have a completely okay cargo pants right here. And I am wondering why we didn't just take that. Empty it out and put it on. Then after we do it, we are going to unload or rather, no, no, unload, select the destination manually, then go to our ripped cargo pants and put it in our other cargo pants. Everything sounds good. All right, now the ripped cargo pants should be empty else, should be on our pants. How is this looking? It all looks fine to me. Yeah, perfect. Now we should be moving faster as well. All right, let's do some exercise. Work out. And we're going to do height for two hours. And here we go. Before long, we are dead tired and thirsty. And we have spent 2,548 calories. So what we're going to do is eat the stuff that isn't yield such as this canned veggie and what else do we have that's gonna go old soon these are gonna last us a while this is this is done all right tortillas probably something good to eat it's something caloric but everything else is sealed here how about we eat the things in our inventory such as the beef stew entree and the chocolate chip pastry, potatoes or gratin, fruit jam, crackers, we can keep the crackers. Looks good to me. Now we just have to drink some water and we'll be fine. Come on, no longer thirsty. Great. Everything looks good. We have a lot of food here though. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, because the rotten ones are bought in the bottom and we just completely forgot those. It's fine. Do we have any water purification tablets? Yes, we do because we got those on us. All right, let's take a sleepy here. Save game, sure. Sleep. What do you mean you're not able to sleep? You're literally dead tired. Come on. I think you should be able to fall asleep. Still no? What the hell? Okay, we're just gonna continue doing that. Alright, we fell asleep. Let's wait till the morning. Good morning, New England. Alright, we already spent a lot of calories, so... Let's see if we can make a sandwich or something using the stuff that we have. Pesto, we could probably do that. Olive oil, basil, garlic, and pine nuts. Boring sandwich, how about a cheese sandwich? Vegetable sandwich with cheese. Sounds like it's good. Sounds pretty good. How about that gray paint? Yeah, let's make one of those. Pour into a container, defense system. All right, gray paint, where are you? Eat that, eat that. We're no longer thirsty. The food. Let's make a vegetable sandwich with cheese. We're gonna use the crackers. Good stuff. Now we have a vegetable sandwich with cheese. Gonna eat that. 
everything else. I'd like to think we have some food on us. Let's see if we have anything. Okay, definitely not here. How about this? Yeah, there is some stuff here, but I'm not sure where. Oh. Okay. There it is. I'm going to take this MRE package as a whole. Let's take that cardboard box as well. You know what? Take that cardboard box. We're going to put the cardboard box here. And then pick up the glaive. And we should be ready to go since we have a little bit of food to last us a single day. Everything else I'm sure we can scavenge on the way. And we should also have enough fuel. If we don't, we'll be able to fuel it somewhere. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go sell that box completely so we can get at least some merch back. So we can... Yeah, I just have money on us. It's always good to have money and trading leverage. I'm kind of worried about our fuel situation. Okay, get off. There it is, small cardboard box. I'll pay for this one. Hey, smokes. Not yet. Let's trade. Box. It is 35, which is way less than I expected. But hey, I am not complaining. Merch is merch. We have 79. Yeah, I think we're ready to set off. We're ready to set off. So, with everything done and in our hand, we have a Ruger LCP as well. And what about weapons? Do we have a rifle with us? Yes, we do, but the bullets are not that many. I am just going to go back, pick up some bullets for us, and then I'll go all the way to the closest lab that we can go to, and I'll see you when I arrive. Now I know I wasn't supposed to be distracted on the way, but we're close enough, like the lab there. Plus, we have an AR-15, but that doesn't have full auto. This is a military drop. So how about we get out and have a little bit of fun, yeah? We're gonna drop the army helmet and the bag quickly and get the kabuto on. Oh my god, not hold it, wear it, and get the glaive. Good. Now we're gonna bring you around, see if you're faster than us. You are a bit slower than us. We'll probably recover our breath more slowly, but that's fine. As long as we can... trap you. You hit the zombie soldier in the body with do no, do no damage. Still no, no damage, so let's run. Hmm, okay, well this is a little bit scary. Two of them, okay. They fail to penetrate armor, which is Good, but it's also terrifying because they are not doing any damage to us. No, we are not doing any damage to them. Do we have another weapon that we can just switch to? We have the Ruger pistol, but it isn't very penetrating. It doesn't have any armor pierce. Okay, well, I'm thinking we should run at this point. Yeah, let's just switch, switch, run here, and quickly speed off because the beater is too heavy for its engine. What? Okay, well, this means that these zombies 
have us. How about the AR-15? Get the AR-15. Okay, the tadpoles are not fine. I mean, they're fine, but they're stuck right there, so... We're gonna have to leave this. We're gonna have to leave this car. We're gonna have to leave the beater. Let's aim for you and kill you right here once and for all. Come on, get closer. Get closer so we have a good shot at you. Another one. Another square. Okay. That shattered your armor, which means we are safe enough. Don't have recoil. Another shot. You have heavy arterial bleeding, which means... If we run away from you and just duke you out, you should be dying sooner. Okay, maybe we can't duke you out. They fail to penetrate armor, but we also fail to live. Okay, uh, let's, let's keep running back. Keep running back. Alright, we got one. We got one of them. Now it's time for the next one. I'm sad about our car though, because it lasted us a while. I think they got our tire. They got our tire, yeah. Okay, your armor isn't shattered yet, but we can, we can kill you. Now it's shattered. And I'm not gonna risk anything, so I'm just gonna shoot you again. There's two more zombie soldiers right there. You've got to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Okay. Okay, well, vision correction assembly. Installation behind a panoramic gas mask visor. Okay. This is a problem. I don't know if there's any vehicles for us around here, but... We have to find one. We have to find at least one. What is that? There's three zombie soldiers that are coming right here. So we're going to get back further away because we need to kite you by one. We have to kite you. Okay, we can't kite you, but we can bring you here. Wait till you get get in range and shoot you. This is much more problematic than I thought it would be. But let's let's try. Let's try getting through it together. Okay. Another one and you're dead. Now we have to walk back a little bit. So we have space. All right, let's aim. Please, no funny business. One. No recoil, another one. Run back. Okay, let's eliminate recoil and wait for you to get closer. How are you still alive? Okay, thank you. You've got... You've got a lot of ammo, which is good because... And you've got a carbine. You've got a good carbine, which is exactly what we wanted from you. That one right up here. What did you have? I don't think this was worth it. I really don't think this was worth it at all. M18 pistol. Sure, and you have an army bayonet as well, but... We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. Let's kill this one first. Alright, keep our sights trained on you. One shot shattered your armor. Another one. Another one. Now we run back a few squares and you're dead. What did you have? MRE packages, winter pants, USMC bayonet. 
Okay. All right. Well, that's a bit problematic, but not to worry. I can fix this. I don't think I can fix this, to be honest with you. Our wheels seem to be enough, but... individual engines switch the v6 engine to other things the engine fails to start but I'm not worried about that because we even have a shotgun here and another coin that we can pick up but wow that was very bad. That was like one of the worst things that could have happened to us right now. Not because it's bad or anything. It's mainly because it's annoying. Yeah, let's put it that way. It's very annoying. Okay. Well, let's just drop all our carbines here. And we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. If I remember correctly, there was a vehicle around here. Maybe there. But I'm not really sure how we're gonna get to it. What about these trailheads? These trailheads always seem to have some stuff. Up here we can see a V12 supercar which wasn't running but I think the engine was fine. So let's go there, see if we can somehow recover it. Thankfully it seems like we do have this. We've got this. Which is a budget town car and it can it can bring us places. That's all we needed to do. We can't close this door. No, we can't because it's broken of course but leasing right at least it's running i wonder though do we have to let's remember this vehicle let's remember this vehicle so we can go back and get our stuff if need be but what I'm worried about is the tadpoles. I don't know how we are going to deal with keeping the tadpoles. How are we going to get them back? Toby and Tina, they are going to have to stay there, most likely, for a little while until we can come back with a bow saw and get them a chicken cage or something. But right now, let's quickly transfer our stuff. I'm just going to... Bring us over here and get all of our stuff from that car into this one. We even have another thing. A jerry can full of gasoline. Probably for a situation like this. So yeah, just give me a minute while I transfer everything into this car. We are now safe. We got the things that we wanted and use of these soldiers as well. And we have the diesel tank that they broke in the car now. And, but the biggest problem is that the tadpoles, Toby and Tina, are in the beater. So I will definitely have to come back and probably make a chicken cage or something to capture them in. Which is, I mean, honestly, my pro I forgot to bring a hackstaw. Like... I actually forgot to bring a hacksaw, but hey, I'm, so I'm going to just go up here and we'll probably go with this likely, 
Yeah, I'm most likely gonna go with this lab. I just realized that I wasn't recording. I really thought that I was recording this whole thing that happened, but no, I completely forgot to start recording again. I'm wondering why my CPU was running so fast. That's why, but okay, so as you just saw, this Mego died right here with three shots. But I executed the suggestion of a commenter a few episodes back. And as you can see all of these corpses, they were because of the Migo's help. And it is a lot of things. It's a lot of things. Like yeah, you can see a lot of corpses right here. Jesus Christ. Syringe though, there is a syringe. We'll need that. Oh yeah, the Migo. I actually got the Migo from a drug drop which had eight heroin and it's in the box right here so we have our painkiller situation figured out as well syringe where is that it is that one no don't smash the door please okay the door is almost broken but with that syringe we will be wait diamond and gold ring sure diamonds are fine is that aquamarine yeah marine. okay well let's just smash all of these corpses because if we don't it's going to cause us a few problems put it to backpacking and wilderness photography a joint a cop had a joint on them well that that is something i did not expect i'll say that i did not expect that at all Motorcycle police jacket, tear gas spray. Okay, we are just here to fiction. And. Oh wow! Oh wow, you have a lot of things. That's a fat zombie which has a tactical backpack with a CZ Bren 2 carbine, which runs on. Not runs, shoots 762. Wow, okay. And then we have Browning High Power 40 Smith & Wesson. Sanae, sir. Is that how you pronounce it? It's a wooden box. Play a game with Sanae. Ancient Egypt. Sanet. No, it's probably Sanet because it's from Egypt rather than France. Okay. Well, don't mind if I do. I'm going to take that. I couldn't bring you with me to witness the massacre and the juking that we did but I'm going to show you the loot at least I'm glad I checked crack pipe sure and some crack who doesn't love some crack everybody likes crack memory card yeah you have this which is basically worthless let's get that going Nothing useful for us right here. Yeah, let's let's check these. Copper rings. Not useful. Alright, what about you guys? No! Actually, thank you for telling me that it was an acid felt corpse. We're not gonna do that, we are going to dismember it. Yep, good stuff nothing here and smash this get that all right now this path is completely safe because we were gonna tra travel through it super compact car well, this is pretty cool okay I'm gonna Remember this vehicle because it sounds like it will be very cool and it has a gasoline tank as well. What's the engine? It's a V2 cylinder. All that matters is that we have managed to clear out this area of all the bad guys. And that means that we're going to be able to drive it through it safely. Yep, okay, perfect. A lot of kills that didn't count toward our kill count unfortunately there's also a police roadblock right here with the soldiers and all but 
one is scary as we just had like the last little thing happened with soldiers it wasn't good so we're not gonna do that and we're just going to continue driving finally here we are at the lab so what we're gonna do is pick up that hiking backpack and drop or rather i mean should we drop it no i think we have a better carbine yeah this carbine has what now it has a hybrid acog scope uh the upper receiver the sling and the under barrel whatever that is i'm not good at military stuff we're going to take that and drop our ar-15 because frankly this carbine is much better wait so Damn, okay. What you're telling me is that this carbine has an under river, which is a grenade launcher. Okay. That sounds like it's pretty fucking good. Okay, wait, can we unload this? And if we unload it, what does the weight? The weight doesn't change that much, so we're just gonna keep that thing in here and make the sling face forwards after we do that i'm gonna wear the carbine and take off that, that kabuto because we don't want to look funny we'll put the, that you know what let's keep that kabuto on and get the mace out smash that Good, we're finally ready to do some exploring. How about this? Actually, let's turn on our cranial flashlight. No. Okay, uh, that is open air right there, so. How about that? That's shallow water. Okay, it opens up from the inside and we can walk here as well. Good. It's not too bad. Let's see what we have here. Screwdriver, first aid, kit box, shore, aspirin, sure. Open that one up. That is a zombie hunter, which is very fast. Gonna turn away and not look back. How? Let's. Oh, we're already dry. We didn't get wet. It is a zombie scientist on the far end. Okay. What about this side? What do we have uh, in the way of items? We have some peptone broth power powder, which I know have no idea what it's used for. Potassium and benzene. And acetic acid, dismember within 15 minutes, well fair enough. Acetic acid is right here. Graduated cylinder, what does it have? It has anal retentive chefs. That's definitely a word. Peptone broth, what does peptone broth useful for? Salty solution of protein and sugar. It is meant for bacteria, but if you're Desperate, you could eat it too. I mean... Count. It's fine. Yeah, let's take it. Okay, you hear glass breaking. That means it is a zombie hunter coming for us. Let's bring you on here. Okay. What do you mean no hostile creature? Oh, that because... Oh god. Okay. All right, I know why. I know why that did, that happened. It's because we had we made a little bit of a mistake. Instead of having the glaive on us, we had the mace, which isn't the best. It's not the best idea. Okay, sure. 
What the fuck? Okay, drop the... We're getting hit pretty bad, but let's drop the hiking backpack. Let's kill you. Let's get rid of you, even though we're a little, little bit damaged. I think we have enough armor to last us. Come on. A few more hits. Our stamina isn't the best, but we're we're doing pretty good progress. Okay. Okay. Uh, can your flashlight turn it off? Put away the glaive. Put pressure on the wound, torso, and catch your breath. All right, we're safe. I am super glad that we actually took the time to figure this out. What, what do you mean figure this out? Oh yeah, I mean the armor situation because without the armor situation, we'd have been in pretty terrible condition. Okay, can you walk? Yes, you can. And you are relatively slow and relatively bad at even existing. So anti-parasitics, we're gonna need that. Let's turn off, turn on safe mode, sorry. Okay, zombie hunter. These are the worst. These are the worst. We are in mild pain, but let's look at the log. The zombie hunter claws at your right leg but fails to penetrate armor. They all, all fail to penetrate the armor, which is really fun. I, this makes me immensely happy because we have just managed to avoid every little kind of thing. Oh, it has concentration quality. Okay. Chiropteran samples. Okay. Bird samples. All right. Even though I was more of a cyberpunk type style, I really want birds. I really want bird stuff. I mean, we don't get real wings. Don't get real wings. Let's get that. That's a subway station. That is a way for it to lead into the subway station. Cranial flashlight. Zombie scientist. Or no, keep that on, but ignore. Okay, all right. One at a time, please. All right, and run back because ideally we wouldn't want to get hurt. But it looks like we are going to have to endure a little bit of pain. How much damage do they claw at us for? They... Hold on. Bites your left foot, but your armor protects you. Your pain distracts you. I don't think they're actually inflicting any damage. They are just inflicting pain because even if they are we have our glaive with us and with the glaive they are unable to do the slightest bit of anything which makes me happy okay 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 you're gonna be able to break this i think so no you you do hit us but you block a little bit of damage I really wonder if... Okay. We are in moderate amount of pain, but thankfully our lifestyle is pretty good. So we're going to be able to... Do pre recover pretty easily. Yeah. Inhaler, compressor. What does compressor do? Fridges, air condition, lab journal, smith. If Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know, but... Turn off the cranial flashlight, turn on the LED tattoo, and AP, store the lab journal and through the lens. Just to make sure we have them and we can drop through the lens, but I think the lab journal is worth taking because it is worth a lot. Now turn off the LED tattoo, turn on the cranial flashlight. How is our fuel situation looking? We still got four, the kerosene. Did you leap right there? Oh my god. Like, 
even before we could do anything, our hop one kinetic mantle is slashed. Worn kinetic mantle and we can repair that with plastic. Integrated soldering iron, portable soldering iron, or just a normal soldering iron. This will hook to a hop one proprietary mantle connector. Okay. We can easily repair it using plastic, I think. So we don't need to worry about it, but let's just kill you. Yeah, we're taking a lot of damage right here, but it's fine. We are able to fix this, but just what the hell were they up to here? The biodiesel handbook. It is an immediate store. Zombie predator? What the fuck? With its joints and odd places and angles, this humanoid creature prowls across the landscape with surprising speed. Its teeth and arms are sharpened into fine points and black ooze seeps out from cuts between its muscles. Okay, well the only thing we can do right here is bring out our Ruger or M18 and yeah, shoot. Low recoil. Okay. Uh, shoot you. Yeah. Bring the recoil low. The cargo are cut. But let's. Okay. Another one. 12. Alright, this is an issue. Shoot you, please. Another shot. One more shot, and we should be fine. How are you not dead yet? Okay, okay, okay. Pick up the glaive. Pick up the glaive. What the hell were you? Turn off the flashlight and get the hell away. Our bleeding is currently at its worst, so bandage, apply it to the left leg and put pressure on the wound. Alright, our pain is currently unmanageable, which means we're going to have a little bit of problems. So let's do one codeine, hold up our makeshift blade and wait. At least 30 minutes. So the pain dies down. Okay, now we basically have a minimal amount of pain. And we are going to be able to run, but... What happened? Our cargo pants are definitely not doing okay. Your stressed kinetic mantle is dented. All right, well, we have a lot of problems. <laughs> We've got a lot of problems. Tortilla chips, can we eat those? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Liquid ammonia, that is something that we'd probably want to do, want to take with us. Smash that thing, god damn. Okay, I really don't have the time for you. I really do not want to play around with you. But you want to play? Alright, well, at least you're dead. Just put pressure on the wound to pick up the glaive. Okay, there seems to be a desk fan here. Peek. Do you see anything dangerous here? I think we're safe. Okay, I think we're safe. It's a pH meter. Okay. Uh, I think we've actually like danced with everything that wanted to tango with us. No, never mind, we did not. Two of 
them. Okay, hit it, hit it, hit it. It was two of them. All right. I think they've done enough. I personally think they've done more than enough. And our kinetic mental is stressed, so let's not continue with that. Let's really not. Let's stop. It's here. You know what? I should stop being curious. Curiosity killed the Houston. Thankfully, our armor was good enough to resist many of the issues that we encountered. But, goddamn, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't one of the most stressful things I've done in a while. Honestly, though, if I am to pursue mutations, I'd like to have some payoff. We could add another mod that lets you actually have wings because you don't have other in vanilla CDDA you don't have wings and it's kind of, kind of annoying that you don't have wings because wings are really cool. Biodiesel Book of Dance says tough zombie right here but we've been through enough we've been through enough steel grill and salt feeder Tolan Tolan is definitely definitely being taken okay let's go somewhere safe nickel powder no that's water our glaive is kind of in terrible shape so benzene and more good ammonia that's good let's get out let's get the hell out of here are we wet no it takes care for the wetness Okay, uh, miscellaneous repair kit. Is do is it on here? No. Miscellaneous repair kit. Let's repair the makeshift glaive. We have a success chance, which is... You need... What now? Don't have enough clients to do them. Have zero, need two. Okay, and we can do that. We can do that later. But... Soldering iron. We're gonna put the makeshift glaive here. Soldering iron. And we're gonna plug it in here. Then, soldering iron, repair, stressed kinetic mantle. Clean plastic chunks. So what you're telling me is that there is a, there is, there is a huge chance that we are going to damage it. And there is a 0% success chance. Because the difficulty is seven. Okay, so we can't repair it. We can't repair it. And we're going to have to buy another kinetic mantle. Okay. Okay. Which so far, so good. Our pain is mild. And I reckon this still has some protection. Yeah, it still has a lot of protection. We, our carbine is dented too. No. How does it... Okay. Alright, wait. Our carbine. If we go here and press mend, we need to clean fouling and lubricate. And we have the motor oil to lubricate it with, and we have diesel with us as well. We just need a pipe cleaner, which we can make. Pipe cleaner. It needs two copper wires, so if we take out that mace, put the soldering iron in the backpack, smash that, we have some mild steel wires. Is that useful for making a pipe cleaner? No, we, we need only wires for some reason. Don't seem to be damaging the metal wall. You know what? Okay, sure. This is, this was a good enough incursion that we had into this lab, I think. We made a little bit of progress, but we need somewhere to stay. And I'm really not sure where we could stay. Maybe I could come here to one of these mobile homes. 
we were too close to the portal, so probably the wind turbine. Before the end of the episode, I need to go there, start the engine, go in front of one of these wind turbines. You are driving very slowly. All right. Why does it take us such a long time to steer the vehicle? Is it because of some other thing? We have painkillers, cramped space, weight carried. Oh, what, why is the weight carried reduced? I don't know. Is it because we are in pain? Does the pain reduce the weight carried? Don't think it will because they changed it so it doesn't, but. We can never be sure, so let's get the torch. Acetylene torch, because I really cannot be bothered to bother with trying to pick this lock. So we're just gonna torch it. Now with our shelter and everything figured out, I think that we can just take a chill pill and stay here till we can figure it out. So. Thank you everyone for watching and joining in, stay foxy and stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.